Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. Um, I'm just getting started for the day, so I'm going to go get ready, and um, I have a couple things to do. We have to return some things, and I have to get my walk in, and I'm just taking the dogs out. <sighs> I'm so, that was so rude. That was so rude of me, and I am sorry, but I'm going to leave it in here. Um, because I like my vlogs to be genuine, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. So let me go get ready. side of the road dude jesus oh god i hate this neighborhood everybody in here drives like crazy drunk people and like sometimes they'll stop like they won't pull into a parking space they'll stop to pick someone up or to do something on their phone or something but they just stop they don't pull to the side I'm not crabby. I know that that little outburst sounded like I'm crabby, but I'm not crabby. I just hate the way the people drive in that community. Community. <laughs> in that community, let me say. I, I just, honestly, I can't wait to get out of there. And I will pay more. If we can't get, if we don't find our land and house that we want, because the land is going to be what's most important about where we find a, a place to live. I mean, that the house and everything works right and everything, but the land is what's really important to us. If we don't find that, but, you know, we're just renting a house. We're gonna rent a house. So I can at least have a little yard. You know, but we're waiting to make any big moves until there, there's something I have to find out about. And, um, we're waiting on that. But. the Arboretum. I said that because if you didn't catch it in another vlog, I said I'm going, I, I didn't get to go to the crematorium. <laughs> and I don't know where that came from, but I meant the Arboretum. And I'm just going to the Arboretum to get a, a quick walk in. Then I have to go to Walmart to return some things. And because they were too big for me, and they were junior sizes too, and they were too big. That was kind of a little bit exciting because juniors run a little smaller, you know. Like the leggings look like MC Hammer pants. <laughs> I'm like, um, these are supposed to be skin tight. And I know I said in that one video, once I wash them, it'll all fit, but I don't want to risk that. So. We'll just return them. All right, we're at the Arboretum. We're gonna go for a quick walk. I probably won't film anything here because I've filmed a lot here and put it in past videos. So maybe if I see something interesting or whatever, maybe I will. These are Spanish bayonets and they're called that for a reason. They will stab you. They're very stabby. I mean, you have to walk into them, but I mean, they don't like stab you themselves, but they're very painful when they get you. 
and they're sturdy, so it's not like the leaves bend too easily. I just want to look and look around a little bit because sometimes you find painted rocks or geocaches. I mean, I could always look on the geocache thing and see if there's one, but... Sometimes they like to put rocks, painted rocks in the, on the trees. I'm not going to look too hard. look like I have a mullet like this is all short and then like that Bill Hader character on Saturday Night Live where he had the puppet anyway I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a couple things I know I it's the dollar 25 tree I forgot but I know I don't like it but I had to get well I had to get this this is what I had to get right here a six pack of little art palettes I need that for just to have because I need that for a lot of my art projects I do face makeup and stuff um, particularly when I need water I could put a couple drops in each of these and use each one for a different color and then I got me a, a two pack of Betty Crocker containers always need those then I got some stickers I thought would be fun to use in my journal I've started doing kind of a my own version of a junk journal, I guess, where I just do what I want with it. And I got some cute stickers here, little flowers, and leaves. And these are like three-dimensional. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought they were pretty. They would be fun with some of my journaling. And I got some boho ones. And I thought those would be good for my journaling, but now I gotta stop at Publix. Um, I still have a little bit of time left because I want to find dates. I had a date at um, my niece's wedding and I really liked it. It was, at first I bit into it and I was like, it was a weird texture, but I really liked the flavor. So I think I'm gonna get some, you know, because I, I Googled them and it says it's good for my digestive system, so. I need things that are good for my digestive system. Not to gross anyone out, sorry. Okay, so I've got me a bacon sheet lined with some parchment. I, the reason it looks like this is because I wet it a little bit just to hold the, I wet the pan just a little bit to hold the parchment paper down. And I got my dates, they're wonderful. And we're going to take them open them up 
they've been seated, so they have kind of, well, they don't have a slit. I have to put a little, no, they do have a little slit in them. And we're gonna put some, some of this freshly ground up almond butter in them. And then we're gonna set them in the freezer to let them firm up. And then we're going to cover them in chocolate. <laughs> okay, so I just filled a dozen of them. I'm gonna stick these in the freezer for about an hour or so, and then melt my chocolate, and we're gonna dip them in chocolate and then let them sit in the refrigerator, and then they'll be a delicious, healthy little snack. So I've got my chilled little dates, and we're gonna take them and we're gonna coat them in my melted chocolate. They're gonna be wonderful. Okay, now they're covered and they're gonna go in the freezer for a few minutes and I'm gonna put them in a container and store them in the refrigerator as we enjoy them. Cause you know, I mean, you can really, they're rich, they're heavy. You're only gonna be able to eat one of these at a time, like at a sitting, so. Um, I said they were a healthy snack, but I guess they're not really a healthy snack. I mean, the date is healthy. The almond butter is okay. The chocolate, other than a little bit of a high from having chocolate, is not healthy. So, not a healthy snack. The dates are a healthy snack, though. But anyway, I'm going to stick these in the, in the freeze. Brian. Brian. Tina. Hi, Tina. Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. We're sitting outside because Brian made a mess of himself and I had to I had to wash his butt off outside, so we gotta stay out here for him to dry. <laughs> but he's being a good boy. Right, Brian? Tina is being a good girl. Tina's being a good girl. Uh, so, but they're enjoying it. There's a nice, the sun is shining, but there's a nice breeze, so it's nice out. Look at this. See how loose it is? Uh, that, and it's getting more like a waddle from, from my weight loss, and I can't complain about my weight loss, but one day, if my YouTube channel ever starts paying me, I'll put up some money and get this done. But when I had my breast reduction, the pain wasn't that bad, but I don't know if I want to experience that on my face because you got to have drains and, oh, uh, but I don't know to get rid of this. I mean, there are exercises, but they're not going to take care of everything, you know? I'm 52 years old. Why do I give a shit anymore? You know, I shouldn't give a shit anymore. But there's that part of me that I'm so tired. I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really, really tired right now, and I don't know why. I slept really good last night. Really good. But I think it's because it's so nice out. You know, it kind of reminds me of like when we would go on a family outing or something and have a picnic outside and stuff. And the grown-ups are still talking, but the kids are st starting to wind down. And it's later in the afternoon, so it's starting to get a little breezy. And st I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of starting to get sleepy after a family outing from my childhood or something like that. I don't know. Here, let me show you how pretty it is out. Wasn't that nice? Really is pretty out today. It's Friday, I wonder what we're gonna do over the weekend. I didn't see a lot going on. Next weekend, we may be taking y'all to a Hot Air Balloon Festival. So that should be fun. Great photo opportunity. 
I have to find my charger for my, my fancy camera for that. That'll be fun. My sister ought to be, oh wait, tomorrow I'm going out with my sister at some point, so yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go start dinner. I have to, I'm making, um, I'm just making, um, heating up um, refried beans and putting enchilada sauce in them to season them. And then um, <coughs> having some cheese on top. And, and then I'm going to make like this corn dish I make. It's corn and um, I use Parmesan cheese, but you're supposed to use a Mexican cheese. And I use, um, I forgot what, Cohina, Cohina cheese is what it is, I think. And then um, I forgot to get cilantro. So there won't be cilantro in it, but I make the dressing with mayonnaise, lime, and tahini. So I'm going to go get started on that, and I will talk to everyone later. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like this and you haven't done so already, and like and comment and all of that good stuff. Thanks so much. Bye.